Hi, Hi Water, Water Signs, Tarot, tarot Twins here. Yeah. Welcome Cancer Pisces Scorpio to your You vs. Them Tarot reading. I am joined by Black for the Tarot. Hi Water Energies. This is going to be a reading channeling your energy and your person's energy. So we'll see what the cards can reveal about your current situation and see if we can get any insight here, Water Signs. So um, thanks for tuning in, for liking, sharing, and please don't forget to subscribe to get more Tarot Twins content, which is coming your way. Please don't forget to check out Black Feather's page as well. Well, if you are after a private reading with the both of us, um, please feel free to email me with a subject line tarot twins. Otherwise, let's jump into it, water signs, and see what's going on with you, first of all. Current energies for water signs. Oh, okay. I guess those are your cards. <clears throat> Alright, let's pick out one more. Okay, so major things happening. King of Cups can be Pisces energy. Um, it's really an emotional time uh, going on for you here. Okay, we've got the devil, very strong attachment that's coming up around you. So this is like a borderline obsession. Okay, there's someone who's really influencing your thoughts um, in a very powerful way. I almost feel like you know there's a karmic connection that you're currently entering into or a karmic connection that's about to start that's being gifted to you from the universe, from God, as we see with the Ace of Wands. Um, some sort of powerful opportunity is coming up around you, um, water signs, but it's going to be in your control somehow. It's something you may be uh, able to offer your person. Um, it could be a living situation. It could be a new job. It could be a business opportunity. It could be some sort of financial support. Um, it could be anything really, but I feel like this, because the, the ones do represent massive uh, physical changes and action, a time of action and moving and all those sorts of things, it makes me feel like, um, A, it could be the, the pacing that's coming up around you, water signs, you're moving much more faster, okay, you're in this energy where it's, you're traveling much more faster, and also, um, what I'm seeing is, is um, with that Ace of Wands is that although this opportunity is yours, I really feel like you're being divinely protected, okay? So whatever decision you choose to make or whatever course of action you need to take, I feel like you're being protected right now um, with that judgment card. We've got the, the angel here. So you're being, your connection is being divinely protected. You're very drawn or you're very attached to someone with the devil card. Now, this could be something very physical. It could be infatuation. It's lust. Um... But it's almost like you've been, you, you're doing a lot, okay? You're doing a lot um, for this connection and you're doing a lot for this person because you're so drawn to them. You're so attracted. You're so in love. You know, the King of Cups could definitely represent love. So water signs, a lot of you may be finding yourselves that you're falling in love with a new con uh, with a new person, new connection here. Um, falling back in love, finding the spark, reuniting with an ex. A lot of powerful emotions are surfacing around you here. And the beauty of it is, is the King of Swords, is that you're ready to talk about it. Mm. How fantastic is this water signs? You're ready to vocalize these emotions and some of you may be scared with the devil card that it may not turn out the way you want it to that the reaction might not be the way you want it to um, that this person might not be um, how you want them to be but sometimes love is full of risks and sometimes we need to take those risks to find out what is on the other side you know and I feel like you vocalizing yourself with the King of Swords here, the fact that he's come up, I think it's a message here that it's time you vocalize your emotions. Um, you may be fearing the judgment, okay? Judgment could be the feedback or the response. So um, either way, there's some sort of response that's coming your way. Something that maybe you anticipated or something that you hadn't anticipated. But if you take that opportunity that's been gifted to you, you may see some wonderful progress happening here. And suddenly as they emerge from the box here, you know, it's almost like... Um, springing back to life, rebirth even, a new beginning, a second chance. Um, so I feel like, you know, this is the angel blowing the trumpets here. So this is news. There's some big news about emotions or something that's happening internally with you that you have to share with your person. Um, water signs, you know, you've got that Pisces energy, you've got the devil, um, that is Capricorn. So, you know, I, I feel like there is a very powerful message you want to send to your person and i think now is the time to do it i think now is the time to take mm. those risks and be bold and be brave and take that wand in your hand and take control because once you do that i feel you're going to have more control over where this connection goes 
and where it proceeds to. But let's have a look at mm, the risk is worth the reward, yes, right? Yes, I would think so. Yes. Okay, so we're going to shift over and take a look at your connecting energy here. So your connecting romantic energy. What's going on with your person here emotionally, internally, mentally here? What are their feelings, their thoughts here? Oh, okay. This one just flew out. And look, the Ace of Wands as well. Mm. Isn't that a little bizarre? You've got the Knight of Swords here. Okay. Both feel it. You're both connected. The devil. Look at that. You guys are very connected You're here. In sync. You're very in sync and flow with one another. You've got temperance. There's and lastly, angels, angels around they're... both your connections, mm -hmm. so you're both being divinely protected. Messengers, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Messengers, indeed. Okay, and the seven of wands here. Okay, so with your person's energy here. Let's see what's going on with them. You're definitely very connected with them. There could even be like a psychic connection that the two of you share. Um, I feel like your thoughts and your emotions here are definitely in sync with one another. Okay, so even if you guys are at a distance or, you know, there's a sort of disconnection here and you're wondering what's going on with them, they're still feeling you. They're still feeling their pre your presence here. They're still very much into you here. Um, the... You know, the devil, he tells me that they do have a very strong attachment, okay? There's a very strong um, magnetic energy mm, that they feel towards you guys. With each other. Yeah, you can call it an obsession, an addiction. It's a very addictive quality that the devil's energy has, right? It's almost like, you know, mm. I can't pull away. You know, yeah. this feels so wrong, yet it feels so right kind of energy, mm. right? So mm -hmm. someone, he's definitely addicted to you, okay? You're like their addiction um, that they cannot kick here. They're a fiend for you or for your love here, guys. So someone, he definitely feels a little obsessed with you they may have obsessive or intrusive thoughts about you they may um, oftentimes you know fantasize do a lot of fantasizing or wishful thinking here whisk themselves off into you know imagination land maybe thinking about a future with you or a possible you know how things might possibly unfold between the two of you someone he definitely can't pull away even if there may be something a little bit toxic or a little bit unhealthy about what the two of you have this person cannot and simply cannot get enough of it um, definitely strong attraction here definitely strong levels of you know sexual chemistry um sexual energy here um definitely strong um emotional intensity as well i feel like um they definitely feel some type of way for you here so strong attraction strong passion here i'm also seeing that you know with the seven of wands this person is offering up some resistance and especially with the knight of swords i'm seeing that there is a very charged up energy here so there could be a little bit confrontational is what i get i feel like this person may have a bit of a temper or they may be prone to you know throwing temper tantrums having dummy spits here i do feel like this person maybe has a tendency to sort of arc up and instead of communicating or talking the way th through problems they sort of uh feel a little bit defensive so mm -hmm. i feel like with their energy here they're offering some resistance okay um and that's challenging it is challenging and i feel like it's posing a bit of a threat or a bit of a challenge to this connection the fact that they you know are up or are a little bit of a um you know um, they're prone to temper tantrums or have a difficult you know have difficulty trying to resolve issues here um, definitely pose a bit of a challenge but I feel like at the end of the day because of this you know swords are weapons and the seven of wands energy I feel like they're willing fight they're willing to fight for this I feel like they're willing to fight you know to prove their love and their loyalty for you and they're willing to fight for this connection or fight to stay in it temperance I feel like they're also trying to be patient about something or I feel like there's a need for them to be patient so maybe they need to learn to you know um not respond so aggressively or so irrationally they maybe need to learn to calm you know um calm themselves mm. here and just you know not react or respond right away here um the ace of wands here I, you know the rolling peaks in the back in the background here indicate that there's definitely setbacks there's definitely challenges there's definitely obstacles around this connection right but the sprouting one tells us that there's a lot of passion and that there's a lot, a lot of opportunity for this connection to grow. And they're willing. I mean, yes, they're being challenged. Okay, they're being challenged by certain things in this connection. They be, they're even being challenged by their emotions for you because I feel like they've never felt this type of way about someone before and they've never felt things of such an emotional intensity before so this is all quite foreign to them but at the same time i feel like they're willing to conquer those challenges and conquer those obstacles here the sprouting one suggests that there is a lot of opportunity to evolve from this okay so reconcile differences move on from this and grow from this more importantly and they're you know they're willing to do that they're willing to fight
Okay, they're willing to fight. They're willing to stay in it here. There's a charged up energy. I feel like there will be communication. Just heads up that it doesn't turn to a bit of a disagreement or turn to something, you know, uncomfortable. Um, and if it does, maybe just give them the space because they need to be able to work through it. But that's what we have for you guys. So we want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for showing your support. For those of you who are interested in a personal tarot reading with the both of us, please feel free to flick us an email with the subject line Tarot Twins in the header. Otherwise, guys, stay tuned. We will be sharing with you more Tarot Twins love content. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.